hi welcome back to another topic on my channel all right welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in so today i'm going to be talking about something that you know my african people you know my people something that they, they they do that i find very embarrassing very irritating and sometimes even it makes me feel like looking for the nearest rock to hide myself under when i'm in public all right we're gonna be talking about some of those few things number one i don't know why african people we can never be on time we are always late 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 and everything that we do we are always late and i find that very you know i always I, this is something that i always do my best i always try my best to always be on time everywhere i go i don't know why i'm like that i don't know why what i must have seen when i was younger all that stuff but it has always been part of me you know i always try to everywhere i go i always try to be at least minimum 15 minutes early I try to avoid all those stereotypes, those things I oh look at them, they always you know because when you're black, when you come somewhere that you're late, they always give you that look like mm, anyway, we're not surprised. Mm, she's black or he's black. But if an Asian person comes late, they don't give them that look because they're like, okay, it's quite understandable. They are always on time, they are always like this, so we'll let it slide. A white person, same thing, you know, Indian, same thing. But black people, when you come somewhere. Or maybe when you, you are to have an interview, or maybe when you are, you are to meet somebody or whatever, that's not from your race. And talking to them on the phone, I've never seen you physically. Some of them might think that maybe, I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're Indian, maybe you're, they might estimate your race, but they don't really know what race you're from. When they get to meet you physically now, when you're late, they're like, hmm, no wonder. When you're giving them all those excuses while you're late, they're looking at you, they're like, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, right. And for me, People in Africa have this, uh, Africans have this uh, thing that they like to see, you know, uh, if you want to invite us somewhere, African time, African time, my friend, shut up, learn how to be early. If there was money involved, you're going to be early. If there is something that you said I was going to benefit you in it, you're going to be early. Just learn how to be early, even if it doesn't benefit you in any way. If somebody invites you for a wedding, be early. Somebody invites you for a wedding party, graduation party, be early. Because... When you're not early like that, you're not going to come early. There's some of them, even they have the audacity. to come to your wedding room. You say the wedding starts at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. They are going to show up at midnight. Midnight 30. After the whole thing is over. When they will come there and they'll be looking for rice to eat. Or they'll be looking for uh, the best drinks to be drinking. And it's not going to be available. They'll be the same ones that will go open their wide mouths tomorrow when they are gossiping. Ah, I even wanted that wedding. There was not even enough food. There was not even, hmm, what kind of drinks they have? Look at the soda cans everywhere. They did not even have berries. They did not even have this. They did not have my friend shut up. All those things were there. It's because you came late that you couldn't find them to eat. You couldn't, you, you, you were not able to put your tongue on it. Next time come early, then you'll be able to eat. You know, it's just crazy. African people are never on time. Unless they see that it's going to benefit them in, in, in one way or another. Either financially, or it's going to give them money. Oh, I don't know. They have to gain something out of it. And yeah, I find that very disrespectful. It's very, very disrespectful. Very, 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 very disrespectful. Okay? Why don't you change those ways? It's, it's there. It's, it just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I would just, I don't know. Anyways. Number two. <sighs> you know, racial favors. This is one of the things that I, I despise the most. Like, if there's something that I despise, is racial favors. You thinking that because you are black and I am black, I'm supposed to be giving you reductions. I'm supposed to be bargaining with you. Bargaining is we learn that thing in Africa. There is no bargaining in the Western world. Bargaining is in Africa. It's not here. Some of them, let me give you guys an example. Some of them they will come. Because when I was younger, I used to work in uh, I used to work, I did all kinds of jobs, cashiers, I used to work in restaurants, I used to work a lot of places where there's a lot of social interaction with different people from different countries, different tourists, and all that stuff. You see, that person will come, and me, I know I knew how to identify them. When they will come, especially in areas where they are selling food or they are selling a why do you have a job? I don't understand. Why, why, why are you always trying to find a way to collect something at uh, half price or collect something for free or coming to tell you about your grandmother's story, your auntie's story? I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need to know all those your stories. Just come and if something is eight dollars, buy for eight dollars. Don't come and be telling me how my sister, my something. No, 
my compatriots. What is that? I'm not interested in that bullshit. So I me, mean, what I used to do is that, you know, I used to work for this uh, for this restaurant, okay, and you know, you sell food. It's a little bit like a buffet type and everything. You sell food and all that stuff. You will see some Africans will come. They will be on the line. Maybe on the line there's like thirty people. To them, they will be like, okay. You will see them. They will keep changing positions. Telling the, 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 the people on the line that, oh, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. They'll keep changing switching positions. They'll keep going backward and backward and backward and backward until they're going to be not by that line. And they'll be giving you eye contact and they'll be giving you that, that, that weird smile like. Especially those cheap ones. From afar, their eyes will be gazing with yours. Just because, do you know why they're switching positions? Because, they are hoping that you are going to be in that cashier position for, for all those 30, 30, 30 customer lining things. So that by the time they get to you, they are going to come to you with those your racial papers things. Say, my sister, so are you going to send me this thing for 12 dollars? So, uh, ah, that's, that is why we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, where are you from? Where are you from? Ah, Cameroon? Ah, me say I'm Cameroonian. I have many Cameroonian friends. They will start telling you that all those are stupid stories just because they want to get a deal. So me, what I used to do is that, when I sense, I'm very good at sensing that nonsense. When I sense it, I just leave the cash register and I go to the back. I go and do something else. You are going to, and when I leave like this, I'm going to go and call one of my white bosses or one of my white superiors or whatever. Somebody from a different race to come and stand there. And I notice that some of them, when I do that, I'll be watching them on camera. That facial expression is going to change. They're going to be like this. That look like, look at that bitch. She left this place and everything. Ah, she know what I, No, why, why won't I leave? It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. And some of them even though come there. After even, you know, sometimes you can be like, okay, you know, I, I walk, sometimes you guys have breaks and everything where you're allowed to eat, you're allowed to eat whatever you want. Sometimes even some of them will come. Some of them you can see that maybe they are cleaners or maybe they are something. They don't really have money like that. Sometimes they'll come and everything. They'll when they're all that they just say, yeah, 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 whatever. Maybe you give them a free drink because you'll be like, okay, I'll add this. That's my drink that I'm supposed to have at lunchtime. You give them your drink and later on, you're not going to end up drinking anything. Some of them. Why you be giving like that? You think that like you're, 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 you're doing something good. Some of them even, they'll come and put your job at risk tomorrow. They'll come and meet their boss and tell your boss how, ah, why is Valerie? Why is the black girl that is usually here? Why is the black girl that is usually here? Every time I come, she's good to me and everything. They clearly know so you're not the owner of that place. But they're going to come there and meet another person. They will not even care to say, okay, maybe this is the owner. Use your brain to think. Maybe this is the owner. They'll come, they'll come there and be exposing you. That's another reason why me. I don't know. Black people will stop this thing. You, you, you are walking. If you made up your mind to go outside and eat and purchase something, take the accurate currency and go there. Don't come by the cash and say how. Ah, eleven dollars and fifty cents. Ah, my sister, I only have eleven dollars. Ah, I don't have. My friend, what is that? So if you don't have the money, stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Okay, just stay home. Cause you're embarrassing us. I think it's not good for our, for our, for our race. It's so embarrassing. Okay. And another thing is. Number three, most African people are always absent-minded. They always look lost in everything that they do. They always look lost. In the office, they are lost. In, in the food court, they are lost. In the mall, they are lost. They are always walking around like this. And it doesn't matter if they have been, if they have been abroad for five years, ten years, twenty years. They are always walking around like this. Lost, lost souls. That's another thing that I find very, very embarrassing. They'll come somewhere. Let me give you guys another example. They'll come to those same areas I used, I used to be working. You know, I have, I used to have this station. Okay, this station you you make different things. You make pastas. You make omelette. You make uh, crepes. You make different things. They will come there. Their signboard is there. Like this white HD signboard saying how omelette section they have about. Then omelette, pasta, they have all kinds of pasta that they make. They have stir fries, all kinds of stir fries that they make. Only an African person will come and stand there. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Only an African person, when you see them coming, and they'll come and stand there like this. Uh, my sister, what do you make here? What do you make here, my sister? Do you make pasta? No, I make sushi. No, I make sushi. Because when you're looking at that signboard, I don't know. It's well label for you. Everything is well elaborated. You're asking me they're making pasta. I don't own that. What sauce are you using here? Ah, ah, OK. 
okay? They will see the thing is what well elaborated. Carbonara is bacon, Alfredo, green onions, parmesan cheese and something. So I'm telling you how. Is it a way that you can combine bacon and chicken and they want to put all the meat from all the other things on the menu in one meal? You say, if you want that, you have to pay extra. But why? But why? But if you have your own restaurant, are you going to be asking but why? You will never let the person complete the sentence. You will shut them off. It is bacon and bacon it is. If you want to switch only one, you can either switch the bacon for chicken, but you cannot put two things. But you'll be asking me, but why? But why? And that still has to do with the racial favor or something. But why? I don't know. Always absent-minded. Even on the road. I'm always, so many occasions I've been so embarrassed. When you see somebody, I don't know if you notice, some of you guys need to pay attention from now on. If you see a car that is behaving stupid beside you or in front of you or behind you, having some stupid tendencies, either they're not putting their signal before switching their lane or they're not looking to, to the rear mirror or the side mirror to see if it's car coming from behind from their side, you see them just channeling, switching lanes anyhow or the speed limit is 80, they're driving 20 or uh, one, uh, they see that the red light is coming. Instead for them to look at the, 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 the thing that indicates that, okay, very soon it's going to be time for pedestrians to cross and start to slow down. They are going to go and speed and go and enter the, and go and stop in the middle of where maybe the cars coming this way are coming to pass. Then you see that now they'll be looking to the red view mirror to tell you say that red mirror you're supposed to look at to, to before switching and you didn't do before. Now they'll be looking at you to, to give you signal and say please and, and you push your car back so I can come back so that the other cars can. It's just we're always absent. I don't know even if they are driving, they are, they are looking like and their hand is on their head or I don't know even with this pandemic even. Somebody come out of the, 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 the grocery, grocery store. You are done doing your grocery shopping. You are wearing masks in your own car. I don't know. It's coronavirus in your car. I don't know. You can listen to coming out from maybe Walmart or wherever from their shopping. And they are wearing masks in their car and they are the only ones in their car. I, you are wearing masks. I don't know. You see the masks in their car. They, they cannot even breathe. They are genuine. And that's the forgetfulness thing. That's the being lost thing. They, they are so lost for that they even forget that they have masks on the car and they will drive with you for like the next 30 minutes. Just, that's just... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My African people. Yeah. My ma. It's crazy. Another one that irritates me is when you have money. When you have money. Especially those ones that when they cannot afford to be your friend. Because when you have money, everybody wants to be your friend. When you don't have money, nobody wants to be your friend. When you have money, they have tried several times to be your friend. They have tried to speak to you. Maybe they, have, they met you at an event. They have tried to come close to you because they heard that you have money, that you're loaded. They want, they, and you haven't given them the chance. They are going to mark you. And they will start spreading rumors. Oh! Ritualist. 419. Eh, you see, eh, if, you're, if, 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 you're, if you're unfortunate, then maybe you lost one of your ch children. Eh, something, something. Oh, you must have sold that child to the devil. Mm -hmm. Only he knows what he's involved in. Mm -hmm. yeah, have you noticed that this whole time he was suffering? Then when he started making money, his mother died. After the people, ha! most times when they're hating on a rich person, it's because you didn't give them a chance to be your friend. Give them a chance to be your friend. They will be worshiping the ground you're walking on. They're going to be doing your antaraku out here. They're going to be saying how. Oh, he's the best person ever. Oh, just because maybe you're giving him 10,000 here and there, 10,000 this, or maybe $5 here and there, or 50 dollars, then they will say, okay, but if you're, you're not listening and be your friend, they're going to criticize you forever. They're going to invent all the stories on the planet. You're a richardist, you're a 419, you're a Yahoo boy, you're African people. Hey! You know, go work, make your own money. Now, all that you sit and be monitoring how somebody is, is being rich. And everything. How how will poverty not kill you then? Then you will go to church and be saying how hey, I want to cast out the spirit of poverty. Cast it out. What are you casting out? You yourself, your poverty. Your blood is made of poverty. Don't go and work hard. Be watching somebody else work hard and be concluding how that that white Jerusalem died. They sold it to the devil and everything. Yeah, they sent you to sent you to come and be judging people. You know another thing that I hate about African people. <laughs> this one is something that I don't know. They will come, you cannot even, I don't know. When they want to come, maybe to your city or something from somewhere else, they will not, they will not give you enough time, oh, heads up. Some of them will take their two left legs, travel from wherever they are coming from. They know that they are supposed to be coming to, to Toronto or to Ottawa or to Montreal over the weekend. They will not tell you maybe a week ahead oh, or two weeks ahead. 
is when they are already in the city. Maybe they came here to visit a sibling or to visit somebody, a friend or whatever. It's when they are already in the city. And they, 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 they just call you randomly like that on the Saturday morning. Uh -huh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to your house. Or uh, they tell me where you live, I'm coming. You're, you're coming to where? Like, you're coming to where? What do you think you are? You think you're in Africa? If you do that thing to me, trust me, I'm very good at that. You're coming, I will ask you that way, you're coming to where? I said, ah, uh -huh, okay, you're coming. You will come, you will not, I will not open. You will come, I will not open. If you want to go around my house, do anything you need to I'm not going to open because it's just a matter of respect and privacy and just, you know, you don't know the person is in the mood. You don't know the person is fighting with their husband. You don't know the person is, I don't know. You, know the person, you just want to come and, and, and be received. I don't understand. Some people, even, they have some sisters in their home when they are broke. They cannot afford even to offer you orange juice. We just want to surprise them and come to the house. And some of you guys, when you'll be doing that surprising something, and the person will let you still come in, you'll be the same once again to go and gossip later on. After they have received you, you go and see how, hmm, that his wife, she's so cheap. You went to that house. Hmm, no juice in the fridge. Eh? Even butter, they don't have. Even this, my friend, there's somebody asked you to, like, couldn't you call and give a heads up? If you come and meet me in my condition, in my, in my state of brokenness, I will receive you in my state of brokenness. Use your money, you know? Use your money and go to the store. Because some of you guys have very bad habits. You come and stay in somebody's house. First of all, you say you come and stay for, for, for four days. Four days turns into one week. One week turns into two weeks. They have to basically change your way. And you'll be staying there. You'll be like a child. You don't know what Maybe you can leave sometimes and go to the closest grocery store. Go and buy one apple juice or something. Come and put it in the fridge too. Go and buy soap. Go and buy toothpaste. No, you just be sitting there embarrassing your ass. And you can't be saying somebody's greedy. You can in my broke season. I will receive you in my broke season. They're going to eat what I am eating. If I am eating corn chaff, you eat corn chaff. If I am eating, uh, I don't know, it is milo. And I get to lick like this. Breakfast, dinner, and lunch. You're going to lick it with me. We'll be licking it together. I'm very sorry. You know? Another one is... This was another thing that I don't understand. You know, you cannot travel in peace. It's not every time I, I'm traveling to somewhere that because I have family that I want to see you. No. Sometimes I want to have me time. Sometimes I want to have my family time with my kids, with my partner. Sometimes I want to have, yeah, just me time. I don't want to go to this uncle's house, this auntie's house, this. Because some people there and say, I'm traveling to France. Hey, hey make sure you go and visit uh, Auntie Tati. Make sure, what? I don't want to bring my plane ticket. I don't want that to, I don't know. Sometimes you go, like, for instance, the Western world, the vacations are very limited. Maximum two weeks. In two weeks, maybe you want to go to Italy, you want to go to France, you want to go maybe to four different countries. You don't have time to be going to uncle and aunties. Yes, there will be a time when I plan to come and do those things. But sometimes I just want to go. I just want to go to amusement parks. I just want to go to the malls. I just want to do my thing, shopping, go to different restaurants, go see some friends because it's not always about family. Go see some friends, go see different people. I don't want to see family. Sometimes you don't want to see family, but. You find yourself, you travel to those places. You know, you want to take one picture for Snapchat or for Instagram or for whatever. Hmm. Now your brain will be thinking because you'll be like, ha, huh? if I pose this one again and this location thing come and say I was in France. Problem. One aunt is going to wake up from one place and say how, so she was in France, she didn't come and visit. And they can take that thing very far. So you're in France and they're going to be holding grudges. For, I don't understand. Like, it's just... Why does everything always have to be conditioned and everything always has to be like, for God's sake, chill, relax, chill. You know, it's not like, because I come somewhere, I must come and see you. What is that? What, what, what kind of nonsense is that? I just want to have fun and enjoy myself and go back to, to wherever I come from. You know, and just, it, let, it just let, let it be what, what it is, you know, it's just what it is. You know, I think people really need to, it's just, ugh. These are some of the few things that really, really disgust me. You know? And another thing for, for the racial favor thing. You know, there was one time I fell on this guy. The guy basically, I don't know. Like I said, the thing, nothing. He's switching there, he's not pointing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So the guy basically came and kind of scratched the side of my, 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 my something. Then, I'm like, okay. He stopped the sky and everything. I could see him in the car, he was panicking. Panicking because probably he's like, um, Okay, ah, if it's a white person, I'm finished though. I am finished though. I am finished though. Then as soon as he came out, I saw him. As soon as he came out, I saw it's a black person. <laughs> now he was. 
the relaxation i can do anything i want to do if i, I can do anyhow i don't go see anyhow it just became you know he so relaxed now came to me i say can i have your insurance papers please and everything and let's and all that stuff for, for what for whatever cause needs to be done and everything you know he's like oh my sister oh my sister we are, we are, we are, we are, we are brothers we are this please um you see the situation is i don't have insurance the situation is i don't have insurance so please my sister since i don't have insurance maybe we can come up with something you know uh, please let me collect your number and, uh, and collect my number then tell me well, whatever garage you want to go to and everything and i'm going to pay for the expenses please my sister already you know, even test i have a friend that can help you fix this thing because i don't have insurance i don't want to enter trouble with police and everything and me i've learned my lesson not to let that thing go anymore because some of them that actually phone numbers what are you going to do with it the incident has already passed so if tomorrow you call and they don't pick up and they don't come and help you fix whatever thing they have done to your car you cannot go back to the police and say okay two weeks ago one month ago this happened to me and it's too late you're supposed to call the police when the incident when the incident happened that's when you're supposed to call the police but if you take it and say my brother my sister you let them go later on those same people those same african people will take you for a fool you go you die that number that number is not going to be going to or you because hey leave me alone foolish person something 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 i said i will say i don't know black people african people we just need to i don't know you need to change you it's so embarrassing it's very embarrassing if you make money money is meant to be used if you don't have money then stop going out there and even if you want to 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 do something when you come in an environment where you see different kinds of people if you are not really understanding the thing you know me what i usually do is that i stand somewhere then i screen the area okay i try to process things first if i'm not ready i'll say i'm not ready yet i'll tell the next person go i'm not ready until i'm ready i don't want to go there and be say eh. Eh, what is eh, eh, eh? Eh? This is expensive. Oh. So why did you come out to come out eat? I don't understand. Just stay home. Take whatever money you have. Go and buy your chicken fried and eat. You know, it's just it's, it's, it's really close. You need to stop this thing. And it's so embarrassing. It's just so embarrassing. Even one of my boss one time, he made a comment to me. He said, ah, Linda, I only hired you. He said, you are a rare black person. Hey, God, oh. hey, I was hurt. I was, you are a rare black person. You are very sharp with it. Your brain is very fast. And that is very rare among black people. Hey, God. That day, I look at a man like this. I didn't know. Even though I knew what he was saying, it's kind of true. See, that is how most of us are being perceived. I didn't know. If I should insult him, I couldn't really insult him because what he was saying was true. But I just had to make him understand, say, no, boss, it's not like that and everything. It's not every black person that is like that. And he's like, but, you know, I've met this person before. He's like, oh, I, I, I have noticed that another thing is this. When a black person wants something, hey, they will be so kind. They will calling you, sir, ma, my dear, sir, they will cajole you, sir. The one he got the, what is that? What is ma? You're calling somebody who is 48 years old like you, sir. What is it? Uh, the person is your age, mate. Why are you warning me, sir? Just because I'm the boss and I'm on my, you, you need the job or whatever you need. Yes. You'll be doing all that stuff. As soon as you get the job, now you will change. You will start showing the real idiot that you are. The real persona that you are. Some of you guys are just, stop disgracing us, please. Stop. Stop this rubbish. If you go somewhere, you want a job, present yourself. Be confident. You know your you you know your you, you know your qualifications. Present yourself with confidence. Do what you gotta do and get the fuck out of that place. You don't need to come and be doing sad, sad. calling your white person sir, ma, this no. I don't use that. His name is Roger, call him Roger. Don't be doing sir. Come on, you guys, you even know that they say stop calling me sir. You will keep saying the sir because you think it's the sir will get you favors. No. Stop doing that, it's embarrassing. Stop doing that. That thing I used to use in Africa, it doesn't work here. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So I was saying, and my boss said to me, say, I'm one of the rarest black person that he has ever met. One of the rarest black smart person that he has ever met. I'm like, hey! And to even go to the point of telling me, say, that's why he hired me. Hey! That from the interview, he was able to determine if I, most, because most black people don't have. Oh my God. See, 
the type of stereotypes that black people have out here. African people have out here. My God. It's unbelievable. I cannot even, if I want to talk about them here, I don't know. We will spend three days here. Because it's just, it's because of the little, little stupid things that we go and do out there. The little, little stupid things. You know, it's just, it's just a, uh, when you go out there, think about your race. Always say to yourself that I am representing my race. That in everything I do, I always say to myself, I am representing my race. And I don't want to embarrass my race. I don't want to embarrass my race. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta act right. I gotta think right. And there's no two way about it. Okay? There's no two way about it. I'm tired of hearing that, oh, Asians are like this, Asian. No. They need to talk about black people to African people to in a certain way. I'm tired of all that bullshit, all those stupid stereotypes. We are dull. We are this, we are that. No. I'm tired of it. I am tired, 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 tired of it. You know? It's just, it's very annoying. When you come and meet somebody at work, you, 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 you manage to find a way for it to get in, for, uh, employed somewhere. You come and get employed. You come and meet one young girl. One young African girl. Maybe you're, she's in her 30s. You, you're in your 60s or 50s. You come there. Too much familiarity. Come on, teach me how to do this thing now, my daughter. Come and do this now, my daughter. Then some of us go, I still stuck in African something. I respect something. We'll come and be helping you. Then uh, the whole thing is going to become a wahala. Every day you will find out that your job now is a new girl now. You don't, they don't go bring one mama or one papa. That's going to be on your back every day as a leech. Always telling you to come and show them how to do this. And no matter how many times you show them, they are comfortable, they will not learn. Because for them, as long as you are there, they will be hiding behind you to make it. Just to, the, all they care about is the paycheck. They don't care about obtaining knowledge, they don't care about anything. They just say, I have that my small girl in the office, I have my small boy in the office, when I go there, he will help me. You are deceiving yourself. It's so embarrassing. Alright? Black people, African people, we need to stop this thing. Stop this rubbish. Behave. You know? What kind of local nonsense is that? Behave, behave, behave. Have manners. You know? Be classy for once. Alright? So, that's all I had to say. If you can relate to these things, let me know down below. Comment and everything. Because it's really close. We need to work on, we need to work on ourselves. We need to work on those things because I'm just embarrassing somebody out here, embarrassing somebody anyhow. You know? If I go somewhere with China, I send her, you're like a foolish person because I know how to sense it. I will go there, I'll just start gradually playing games to push on the side and say, yeah, yeah, leave it, I'll handle it. Because I know that you embarrass me, and I, me, I don't like embarrassment. I'm allergic to embarrassment. For me to go out there and get embarrassed, I better stay home. That's how I am. So, yeah, that's all I had to say. So, if you like this content, Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, press that like button to your right, press that like button, alright? If you like my channel and what I'm all about, subscribe to my channel, guys, subscribe, alright? Bye!